Hey guys, this is me again, the Warlord 1944. I want to give you an update about stuff that has arrived in the mail today. I uh, bought a uh, Dutch uh, Navy uniform. It is uh, very nicely uh, tailored. It's a size, a European size 47. So that's considered a, a small, I think, in US size. You can see this is for the officer. You can recognize it with the with the cuff braids and the pants is with it. The guy obviously had some uh, some medals, as you can see, two metal loops. So I'm gonna search for something that uh, will fit that. Paid 15 euros for it, uh, including shipping. So it was a uh, good price. But uh, yeah, it's a small size. But if you put some medals on it and on a mannequin, and uh, you hear no nobody uh, complaining about it, I think because uh, navy uniforms are very smart looking. They're obviously uh, often uh, hand tailored because uh, officers get paid better than uh, enlisted men. But this is an, uh, a standard uniform. Then uh, I want to give you some updates about uh, porcelain I bought. You know, I'm researching a little bit more about the uh, Société Ceramique Maastricht. It's a Dutch uh, porcelain manufacturer. They started in the late 1890s, I believe, and they uh, continued to make porcelain until 1958. I've done some more research online. And this is the Landschap uh, series. As you can see on the on the bottom, it says landschap. As you can see here, and there were two types of landschap. There was one for winter, and there was one for summer. And th this one is, I believe, for uh, summer. As you can see with the mountains, the old uh, log cabins. So it's very uh, very nicely done. This is a soup uh, terrine. And this is the plate you can buy with it. Paid 22 euro 95 cents. So that is uh, a big, uh, big investment, I think. But on the other end, how often do you come those uh, those big pieces come around? Most of the time, the lids are broken because they have fallen. Or and I also found these little dishes 75 cents each so just snack those up real quick you can see landschap and I have one two three three of those I already had one plate but it is a different uh, different size so I have uh, one from a bigger size three little sizes and this uh, super uh, terrine with uh, with the plate and I will go over here because I went to a thrift stop uh, thrift store sorry this week and I found this uh, floral pattern and it also has the Société Ceramique Maastricht stamp made in Holland here's a production stamp paid 195 per plate and they are three plates I was searching online because I did not know this pattern, could not find it on the collector's websites. Then I searched for uh, a little bit more info about uh, this uh, company. Then I found out that during World War II they were making uh, porcelain with a flower pattern and they did not uh, stamp it. Obviously this is stamped with the uh, manufacturer but it does not, does not say a design name like for instance the other one it says landschap so I believe these are uh, second world war production plates so that's quite cool because this type is made from 1950 to 1958 the last years the last eight years of the company and this was made during second world war so it's quite uh, it's quite cool quite good condition and I also bought three uh, tea uh, Tea cups or coffee cups, 
and there's a little bit more faint stamp, a little bit more wear on the edges, but it's still in okay uh, condition. I have three complete ones, and they are, uh, it's a little bit faded, but there's the production stamp and the Societe Ceramique uh, Maastricht stamp. And I paid $1.95 for each of those. So, very nice pattern, I like it. I don't drink tea or coffee, but it's uh, going up in the collection. And when I'm a little bit older, then I'm gonna auction it off probably. But it's a good investment, I think. Old, old porcelain, Second World War. I want to collect some more antique stuff until the 1960s, I think. Because if you buy something after 1960s, it's not very collectible, it's more retro. And I found two uh, albums Queen. News of the world, and it has a couple of famous songs. It says, uh, We will rock you, we are the champions. And the other ones I don't know, but we are the champions and we will rock you. Those are very famous. This is a print of 1977, and then I found this Santana's greatest hits. And it has the song uh, Black Magic Woman, which is very famous, and Oye Komova, and that's one of my favorites, so it's a very, uh, very cool one. And this one is from 1974. And the last thing I want to show you is some military stuff that has arrived from the mail from Germany. It's a Ranger tab, and on the back side you can see this. So it is. Uh, if you know something more about patches, this is a Pakistani made one or Afghan made, but you can see it on the backing. Then I have a uh, Combat Infantryman's badge, uh, second award, and third award. So that's it for this week. My girlfriend found something out about the new uh, second hand store in the city of Breda, which is about a 25 minute drive from my house. So. Uh, I'm going on recon this afternoon and if I find something and I buy something I'm going to make another video. But uh, this is it for now guys. Okay, bye bye.